I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. My name is Pyromancer, but once again, today is nothing but hype for me, dude. You guys know it. My favorite part of the Final Fantasy lore. It's gotta be the 12, man. It's gotta be the 12. So, there's nothing more exciting for me than getting to go back into my yeah. full-on roleplay Hi. mode of Derek and find out the ever-expanding truth of the Twelve. Okay, we have a group, do we not? I need my Derek's to assemble in Mordona. I need all my Derek's to assemble in Mordona on Diablos. Today we're running a 24-man Derek-only raid. Okay, so my tanks, Judge, Einhard, Eleonora, my healers, Brandon, Electrion, Akira, Inaria, Senna, and Life. My DPS, Zark, Iris, Phaedra, Nick, Pyrel, Matea, Sima, Jammy, Cypher, Zija, Paya, Tigera, Alex, Bermond, and Kor. Who's the real Derek? Hmm. Oh yeah? All right. Return to the Phantom Realm. <laughs> Look at the starting, the opening text to the quest chat. Derek betrays a gleam in his eyes at the sight of you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Derek loves us. Derek's probably nervous around us because Derek's probably the one who's modeled off of us. I'd be nervous if I was walking around with the guy that I'm supposed to be inspired by as well. I'd be nervous going to uh, Uldah to tell you about Nodthal and learn about how people worship them and what they think of them if I was the creator of Nodthal too. All right. Here we go. Oh, greetings, Pyro. If you've come to ask about developments in our Phantom Realm investigation, then your timing couldn't be better. A short while ago, I received word from Grahatia. He and Kryle have completed their preparations in Charlian and are ready to resume fieldwork. Even as we speak, they make their way hither. Let's wait for them together, shall we? Thank you guys for the subs, dude. The gifted subs. There's been several since we started stream. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I love this already. I love this already. Wait, is that Derek or me? Oh, fucking hell. Chat, this is gonna fuck me up, dude. I don't know when, the, when it's looking at me or when it's looking at him. Ah, there they are. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> These camera shots. I love it. Graha, are you, are you tired? Or what's wrong? Oh, he's carrying that thing. <sighs> what the fuck is that? What in the heavens are you carrying? He always says that. What in the heavens? Seven hells? Derek always says that shit. I'm just saying, dude. Just saying, you know, if I was a god, I would probably say... <laughs> I'd probably say, thank the heavens and seven hells. Just like Derek says. Uh, this, my friends, is the latest technological marvel to come out of Charlian. I give you the etheric analyzer. All right, okay. Holding it thus, you take a measure of the ambient ether, whose waveform is then recorded by the ether etherotranscriber at the back. This provides us with detailed data on the environment, which we can study at our leisure. As you know, the phantom realms are hidden by illusions in order to ascertain their nature. I suggested to Kryle that we record the data with proper equipment. 
Watch us be some dynamist shit. Kryle also said, Alas, said equipment is tremendously cumbersome. Raha has done well to bring it here in one piece. And as expensive as it doubtless is, I hope we can return it in the same condition. Derek says, Return it? Yes, to the forum. In approving our investigation, they granted us use of the device in addition to their financial backing. Despite the students' greatly reduced scale, the forum has faith in our endeavors. Thus did the approval notice declare. I'm proud to say. We owe much of this good whittle to the Scions. Yourself, not least of all. Thanks, Kryle. That being said, we can't depend on the forum indefinitely. No, we must stand on our own two feet again, and it begins with our efforts in this investigation. The Twelve are meant to be Eorzea's guardian deities, yet they seek battle with mankind. What could it possibly be that motivates them? Okay, chat, I'm gonna let you guys know real quick. Here's my theory right now. The Twelve are either transformed or beings inspired by the 12 followers of Anah, or and or the 12 me, the the seats of the convocation and like their roles in their society i think that what is happening here is we're being brought on a quest to help the these gods aspire their hopes and dreams and come to a realization a truth of their existence and while we're while we're coming to 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 come to that i think i think what's going to happen is i think that these 12 deities we don't we don't need them we don't need them anymore and the people of eorzea their faith is established their beliefs are established their temples their their commerce their cities right They've never seen, they, like, they have, but not in mass. They've never seen these gods. And I think that if the Twelve were to be, quote-unquote, released from their charge and left to go, I think that the world would be okay. Because they never came down and just saved us, you know? They never stopped the calamities. They, they didn't do those things. They didn't... They didn't... The Twelve helped us realize ourselves, if that makes sense. The, the Twelve helped us realize who we as a people are. What, what do we believe in? What are our ideals, right? What does that mean for us? How did that make us grow? How did that help humanity live through the calamities? Help humanity live through the torment of the Astians? Without getting involved in just saving them, because remember... If these things, if these 12 deities derived from Vana and her followers, they believed that mankind had to prove their worth. Mankind had to save themselves. And just remember that as we go through this raid, they're testing us. Testing our spirit, our strength of will, our, our, our physical strength, our honor. Right? They're testing us to see if we have... Right? But I think at the same time, this is also about them. I think this is about their vigil coming to an end. So, I expect, at this point anyway, that at the end of the raid, the Twelve will, will say goodbye to Eorzea. So, let's see. What could it be that motivates them to seek battle with mankind? In treating with them earnestly... I am hopeful that we will find the answer. I hope so too. Well, that was me, because Derek doesn't do the, the Warrior of Light. <laughs> well, we shouldn't keep Snow Jim waiting. Without further ado, let's join her in the Omphalos. Karate, <laughs> dear. Amrissa, thanks for the fall, or thanks for the sub. Asarama, thanks for the resub as well for 11 months. Welcome back, everybody who's resubbing. All right. Enter the Omphalos. Let's 
What's up? Hey, Snow Gem. Welcome back. Well now, if that isn't the etheric analyzer, you've done well to get a hold of it. I'm so hungry. Indeed, we're duly grateful to the forum for the loan. It's no small thing to be lugging about, but I've always wanted to try. If you're ready, Raha, you may proceed with measuring the ether of the Phantom Realm. Pyro, please assist him, will you? In the meantime, I have a mind to further examine the monument with Snow Gem. How does that sound? Sounds good. Like a plan. As a matter of fact, I've already done a little bit of work on that front. As you previously determined, the monument harbors some manner of magic. And this magic, I've since found, takes the form of an epigraph. The fuck is an epigraph? An epigraph is an inscription on a building statue or coin. A short quotation or saying at the beginning of a book or chapter intended to suggest its theme. Okay. By consulting experts in the field of archaeology, I was able to make a discovery. Derek looks so worried. Oh yes, a most startling discovery. That is... The epigraph is largely incomplete, so we can't read it. My motherfucking sandwich. Look at me. Leaning my seat and shit. Making Derek look worried as fuck. Did you see Derek's face? He was so scared a second ago. Derek is Oshan, chap. This guy acts way too sus. Oh, it's not done. <laughs> so you didn't make a discovery? Ah, but see, establishing what one doesn't know is also an important step in research. True. Very true. For a blessing, the language used doesn't appear to be completely unknown. I'm sorry? I, I, I'm, uh, what? If we can but fill in the missing information, it should be possible to make sense of it. What? But where do we even begin looking for such information? Why, we ask the gods themselves, of course. By giving them the battle they desire, we're doing them a favor, are we not? That being the case, I dare say they would grace us with their presence if called. Please, come with me. Oh, the things I would ask them if they really did appear. They're gonna appear. Now, going by astrology, the heaven of Earth should be the next to open. And it just so happens I know the perfect incantation for this purpose. <laughs> I don't think Snow's seen one of them yet. We got in touch with her after we met them. Open Muntoy. It's a 
time-honored charm passed down in Gridania, whose patron is Nofika, one of the deities said to dwell in the heaven of Earth. Come, everyone, say it with me. Water, water, froth and foam! <laughs> Derek looks at Derek. Uh. Open. Moon toy. Well, Derek said it, so that's why it worked. The Derek with the oppo oppo with him in the cutscenes is the real Derek. Fuck yeah, dude! Oh, there she is, dude. It's Nafika. Yo! Hehe, <laughs> what delightful children you are. I, too, have desired to speak with you. Yeah, she's giga hot, Chad. Holy fucking fuck. Same. B by the twelve! It's her! It's really her! Holy fucking shit, dude. Oh, Novaka stats! Well, if you weren't by panic before, you are now. <laughs> She looks precisely as depicted in legend. Amazing! Huh. It's funny how they look exactly like that, huh? Like they're being the gods exactly what we needed them to be. They're exactly what we thought they were. Tis an honor to meet you, Nofika. If I may, what is it that you wish to speak about? You seek you to decipher the monument, monument, do you not? If you face, if you face more, more of us in battle, 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 battle myself, myself included, included, we shall we grant, grant you the key you to, unlocking to unlocking that mystery. Battle. That's Derek's face right there. We would of course be much obliged for such a gift. But are you certain? The gods before were not exactly forthcoming with your secrets. Closely, we have watched you from our respective sanctums. Sanctums. Watched as you faced us and pursued the truth with pure hearts and minds. Pure hearts and minds. Hmm. In light of what we have seen, we have concluded thus. Even should you uncover the monument's purpose, you would still be willing to lend us your aid. Help us to fulfill our heart's desire, and so too shall we grant you yours. I look forward to receiving you in my sanctum, my dear children. Um, she can receive me. I'm going to tell you what. Nice. Now, 
This is how it'd be with Norfolk, I dude. He starts to come and then he pulls out. <laughs> All right. Derek, what you got to say about that, Derek? I'm going to punch Derek in his fucking sussy face. I wasn't expecting a god to actually appear. It was but a coincidence, surely. It worked. The charm reached the matron. If it can be repeated, I shall have to... I shall have to mention it in my thesis. Our efforts to understand the Twelve appear to have paid off. Let's find out. The original plan was to revisit the heavens of lightning and fire. But I believe all would agree that we should prioritize Nofika's invitation. Yo, yeah, we should. Okay, that's me. Well, Snowgem, your charm did the trick. The way to another heaven lies open, and beyond it, the truth of the monument. The monument's a key that unlocks the final gateway. Once all of these things are activated around this room, that center monument's gonna go off. I can scarcely wait to pour over the etheric data. Raha, Pyro, I leave it in your capable hands. As for you, Derek, may we rely on your guidance once more? No? Now that we know what awaits, I do not feel my presence is necessary. On the contrary, I would only be a burden. Huh. Hmm. As you wish, of course. We can still count on you to pray for our friends, though, I trust. I'm so glad that I can join you this time, Pyro. Encumbered as I am with the Analyzer, I feel I would be able to assist- I would- won't be able to assist in battle. But I shall do my part and secure the data we need. He did just enough to get us into this. Now he's just, now he's going hands off. It's just like the 12 to do that type of shit. Oh, now that you're here, you know. Little fucker. And actually fighting the gods, yours is the hardest task of all. The rest of us are truly grateful to you and we shall do our utmost to support your efforts. That was Kryle, whoops. Curious about my attire, are you? I borrowed it alongside the analyzer. I was gonna say you look like a gleaner. Ha! <laughs> it's the choice of gleaners, cleverly designed to help one bear great loads. That's probably what Nafika wears, right? I mean, she's gotta be wearing that, right? Something to help her carry that big load. As hefty as the analyzer is, by now I'm quite used to the feel of it. That is to say, I won't unduly slow you down. Come. Let us set forth. <laughs> Big loads for her naturals. <clears throat> Thanks to the etheric analyzer, even those who can't accompany you will have access to valuable data. Compliments to the forum for the loan. All right. Okay. I'm gonna meet you guys. Outside the instance. All right, well, we have we have seven minutes. So we're gonna, before we bring in, so I'm gonna bring in one extra for Pia Kuba. Um, Zesh, I need you to be a dancer in group, th in group C, my friend. Welcome to the raid. Derek gets around, he, <laughs> he, he act, you know what's funny? He does. He does get around. That's, 
That's like a funny pun because he's a wanderer. Oshan the Wanderer. Derek the, you know, he's the adventurer. Alec is here, I see that, yep. Iris DC'd, okay. Hopefully we don't deal with that too much during the, during the instance. Is there a lore reason for 24 Derek's or is it just season's greetings to the new patch? Um, there's lore reasons, yeah, for sure. And yes. Answer that question is yes. Um, but yeah, the lore reason is that I, I mean, I think that Derek is, in, is, Oshan is inspired by Azem. I think that like whatever Oshan is, is like literally draws, um, is derived from Azem's purpose. And considering that we're Azem and that we spend all of our time with Derek in the raid and he's a wanderer, an adventurer like us, just like Oshan, I just think that there's a big link happening there. So I think it's very fitting that we all look like Derek. So who knows? Maybe Derek's one of our shards, chat. Anyone fucking think of that? Anyone even stop to consider the possibility of that? That won't happen because it's a side quest, but... <clears throat> Never knows. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go on after seeing you now. BGM has to go to 100, they said, so... This is what it says. The Twelve, Eorzea's guardian deities, seek to fulfill their enigmatic aspirations, and for this, they claim they must engage in battle with men. Continuing your efforts to uncover the truth, you and your comrades have turned your attention to the monument at the heart of the Omphalos, which contains an incomplete epigraph. The goddess Nafika promises you the key to deciphering it, but in exchange, you must do battle with more gods, herself included. So it is that you prepare yourself for another grueling foray into their sanctum, there to grant the divinities their heart's desire. I want to hear this music. What were those things flying around in the distance there? What was that? Were those... Are they like little flower spores? Oh! At last, the time has come. Oh, the time has come, all right, Nafiko. <laughs> oh! I want to look at the houses and stuff behind us here. That's interesting that there's like a little town over there. I guess it's just about what you'd expect. Rolling plains. Oh, that's a door. I mean, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I know. I mean, we don't need to... Yeah, that's all right. I appreciate the, in the input, but... It's okay. Hmm. I'm gonna talk to Graha. Never mind. There we go. That the matron should welcome us herself. Such overwhelming ether. So there's a fuckload of ether here. Very etherically dense. Hmm. Maybe that means that they're really old, from a time maybe when ether on our world was more dense. Considering that we posit that they existed before the Third Astral Era, they should be pretty etherically dense. I'm also a black mage, which I did not intend to be, but hey, here we are. Alright, so this is gonna be, um... This is going to be whatever it is. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we let's see what we got here. All right. I'm gonna do a countdown and we'll do a twenty just because we have paladins. Let's see how bad this is. <laughs> I'm gonna try to call out stuff if I can tell what we need to do, but I have a feeling this is gonna go badly. Prove to me life's resolve. Prove to me life's resolve. There they go. Did you hear the fucking music? Nice. 
<laughs> That's so sick! Giving land. Careful here, the ground's gonna do... Yep. Oh, and we're in a forest now. Giving land. Oh, this is gonna be in close. So giving is close, the, the other one is far. Matron's Harvest. Uh, this might just be a big AoE? Let's see. Yep, raid wide AoE. And back to the, back to the plains. Reaper's Gale, we got safe spots. Assume it's an in and out. Yep, 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 it is. Matron's Plenty. So the edges are unsafe, maybe a knockback? No, she's, it's a transformation, that's why it's unsafe. Floral Haze. Which, okay, so we have a left, fa we have a facing mechanic here. Giving Hand is uh, getting close. And we're gonna have to go out after this, I would imagine. She's probably gonna reverse it. No, it's Giving Land. No, yeah, so go out, go out, go out, go out, go out. Giving Land is out. Yep, Giving Hand is close, Giving Land is far. I know, giving land, giving hand, that's the, that's, yeah. Ah, oh, dude, the, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm like, I'm failing at Black Mage hard right now. Mine is the breath. Matron's breath, um, this might be a circular mechanic. Unavoidable right there. And what is that doing to us? Okay, we have ads here. We have a tower number one. Uh, is that one person in it, or like, and then two in this one, or like, how does this, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, we're, okay. So these puddles, interesting, I gotta figure out. Is it just, they go off and we need to be in the puddle to be immune? So, okay, you immune the tower by standing in the corresponding puddle. Can I get a res? Oh, you're, never mind. It's happening right now. Land Waker. I don't know what that is. Uh-oh. You guys have a directional here, so you're gonna have to... Giving land, oh my goodness. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Whoo, baby. Oh, this is flares out, just stand in the uh, cardinal section. And then switch to intercardinal once the intercard passes. There you go, perfect. Giving land is out, out, out. Hand is in, land is out. Bow down like the willow. Matron's harvest again, All right. Yeah, no shit, Chad. It's day one. Don't be weird, guys. You guys knew that we were gonna get blasted. Beyond adversity lies strength. If they did, it's because they were in fucking statics with actual, like, a bunch of people that raid. Yeah, Todd said he was dead for 80% of this. That's what I thought. Okay, so... Yeah, it's one first. Well, that's... Yeah, I mean, no. It's yellow, yellow. And then it's blue. Oh boy, this is interesting. So yellow again, and then blue. Yeah, it's, you don't go to the towers at all. They uh, are irrelevant. You just bounce and bounce back and forth. You just bounce back and forth between the two colors while the towers are going off. The towers seem to be left to left to right, but just in case they're not, you just follow the numbers. Yeah, there's no reason to keep, yeah, I don't know why. Read the cast bar. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, does it? Gotcha. Okay. I'm just... Why does that make sense? Oh, gotcha. When you saw it. I see. I was like, what about flowers makes you think damage? I don't get it. I don't know why they hit her face. They hit her whole front of her body because of her tits. That's why they hit her face, chat. It's not like a big mystery. Yeah, of course they know their audience. No, I'm not talking about ESRB. I'm saying they used it as a, a get out, everyone out. I'm saying they used it as a teaser because everyone wants to see your tits. That's the biggest thing about Nafika. Nafika's tits, like it's the whole thing, you know? Everyone out. Giving land is, oh, wait. Oh, right. Sorry, you're right, you're right, you're right. Right, gotta follow green, not the cast bar. Sorry about that. Flowers out, green in. Does she use the same ability each time? Is it the same name? Yeah, we need to mit that, G1. Well, we don't have... Oh, we have Brandon. Just kidding. There we go. And then your motion thing is going to put you one way or another, so... This is a big raid wide. So blue is first. Look at this ley lines, baby. Let's go! After blue, after blue goes, go to yellow. Back to blue. Exit like. Thanks for the five. Get those. This is a big AoE. We need mitts on this, a shield, something. There we go. Thanks for the shake. Awesome. Yeah, that didn't hit nearly as hard when we had all that rolling. Oh no, Derek's dead on the ground over there. Shit! Derek fucking died! Shit! Shit! He was trying to RDM and he couldn't fucking pull it off. Uh, yellow first. After yellow, we go blue. I fuck my ley lines up. Back to yellow. It's quick. These are quick. These are quick. 
They're getting faster. They're getting faster. Last two are yellow. You don't have to move. Uh, this... Yeah, everyone. Everybody. I think that's the first full raid stack in... in... myths, right? I can't think of any other mechanic that has a full alliance raid stack. Good not Thal? Where? Be strong for what awaits. No, not yet. But every single person, every single person was in that ability. Nice. Now time to go see the cool transformation. The music on Nafika was fucking sick. I know the violin like accordion, dude. That was fucking sick. It almost sounded like a it was it sounded like a fiddle, not a violin. It's all right. By my authority, let the land be remade. Oh, whose voice was that? That's what I just said. I I no, I don't know who that is. It sounded almost kind of like Fortuno. Louis Suarez. Look at this fucking place. Okay, uh, I'm assuming A, I'm assuming A, B, C, left to right. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Did you say 22 full-timer for that? <laughs> I thought, oh, no, you said don't need a full-timer for that. Oh, I forgot to... Look at those debuff timers in the raid frames, by the way. And the party frames, baby. Let's go! I love seeing how long you guys have on your stuff. It's so nice. I can actually see when your defensive is running out. What a fucking concept. What a concept. As a healer, that's gonna make me nut, dude. To be able to see when my fucking Medica's gonna run out, dude? Jeez. <laughs> Alright, uh, same thing. So, the minions in the trash that we fought in the previous raid were literally servants of the gods um, that they summoned, like the like the falcon and like the um, like the lions. This is a little different. Uh, these don't seem to be like the same type of specialty summon like what we saw in the other raid. If you understand, if you know what I mean, like these seem more like general creatures rather than divine lions of judgment. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> a little different, so kind of curious if there's a reason for that. Oh! Uh. Well, it's a beast. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Since it's Behemoth, never count out. Yep, the Comet. I understand that the mobs will be Earth based, but I'm trying to point out that there's a little bit of a difference in, like, uh. How do I put this? The stuff that we just fought didn't seem divine. You know what I'm saying? They're not like divine creations, you know? Hey, 
Mm. Forgive me, but I couldn't stay away. <laughs> hmm. It Hold seems on. my sister Hold on. shall be joining us. When the NPCs are talking, please, please clear comms. Like they just had dialogue. It's all right. Okay, sorry. What were you trying to say, Akira? What do you mean? Oh, you pulled the boss? Or you died? Or what do you mean? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's... Okay. Uh, we're over at this platform. It is... It's... Yeah. It is only fitting that oh, that's... we face you together. So... No, we don't go. I will spin your face. So they're a twin fight. Like what like what we like what I said was gonna happen, and it doesn't she said she couldn't stay away. I wonder if uh, this isn't just a cameo. I think this is uh, really Nemea's fight. We'll see here. We'll see here by the end of it. What? Look at their buff? Let me see. I gotta... I'm not near them, so I can't. Arcane Triumph... Okay, people just... Okay. Fated by the spinner to emerge victorious when this effect expires. Fated by the spinner... Okay. Arcane Triumph. We don't know how that works. We don't. We don't know. Um, I mean, I guess it must be an enrage. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm just gonna talk about lore stuff, and you guys can figure out all the boss mechanics. Yeah. This is clearly the better way to go. All right. Yeah, it's an enrage. Let's go. Let's find out what it is. Eight minutes. I will spin your face. Pyretic. Oh, this is this is SOS mechanics. When this expires, don't move if you're pyretic. Don't cast anything. Some people don't know how to listen, it's okay though. They'll die, we won't. <laughs> that's how raid that's how Alliance raids work, motherfucker. Have you the strength to defy fate? The sands of time are mine to command. What the fuck does this do? I have a time mechanic on me? Yo, interesting. I'm assuming we're Axioma. This is going to be probably a cleave, maybe intercardinal. Oh, no, it's just an AoE, raid wide AoE with some residue left. So spread out within the residue. Nice. So that that makes it so people don't stand too close to each other all the time. Because if we all get trapped inside of one of those areas, we're fucked. Inexorable pull? Oh, it is heavy, so we don't get launched up. That's what that's exactly it, Zark. So the purple stuff for inexorable, we stand in it. We might do we need to stand in this too? Because this is a knockback, right? Oh it is. Oh! It's a wave! Nice! Okay, okay, that's cool. So it's... Okay, okay. So you just move in after the first one. And then he does a cleave. Just uh, just die. Don't try to recover it, just die. Pray to the stars on high. Hydrostasis. 
three, two, one. knockback mechanic, okay. I like that. Would it be... What if... No. What if we, um... What if we pull them completely to the opposite side of the room of one another? Only fitting that we face you together. We also need to, is that a targeted cleave or is that facing the, the tank or is that random target cleave with the second X, maybe second enmity? Oh, maybe, oh, maybe faces Nemea. It could be, someone's saying it's random. We'll see. If he continues to face Nemea, then we'll know. Okay, okay, so the clock's gonna, Clock's gonna speed up here. Stop casting. Nice, okay. <laughs> yeah. I shall measure your work. Okay, so this is gonna be the knock up. Or he's doing this first, then we spread. Yep, everyone in the lines. For what? Not yet. Not yet. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't do damage while you're in it. Now I'll get in it. Okay, now get out. And then this pull thing is gonna go through the center of the room. And just move into it after it goes off. Go. If you get knocked back, you can't try to just run back through it. You have to be patient and wait for the next cleave, otherwise you're getting pushed off the edge. By the way, he just could have been random at the person going off the edge right there. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm, yeah. Okay, here's gonna be the triple knockback, which you can probably knock back immune the first and second of, if you want to. It's gonna be a little sketchy though. You'll be able to see when the knockback occurs because the blue ball is gonna like impact. So you, you, yeah, yeah. You can. Fuck this fucking shit game and it's shit fucking latency, bro. God fucking damn it, I wish my abilities went off when I actually fucking clicked them. Pisses me off. Okay, can I get a res? Yeah, this is, uh... So this one you want to keep moving. Move, move, move. There you go. Well, when it goes off, not right now, you know. I don't have the debuff, so I can't see. Yeah, when the debuff expires, you want to be moving. Yeah, definitely is a random target. Okay, she's gonna do that that thing in the middle again, where she pulls, I think. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm misreading uh, mechanic names. Can you get Alec Brandon? Right. Time marches to 
my will. Oh, these are gonna, these are gonna, guys, get over here quickly. Get over here quickly. Oh, fuck. It goes backwards. Zark, can I ask you how you knew that? If you know that from your previous raid, please don't say that. No, not you. I'm talking to Zark. That was a good guess. Nice. I'm just trying to look. I don't fucking know what you guys know. When you say things matter-of-factly, I just thought that you knew. So, I'm I'm sorry. Oh, man. We are come to a frozen domain. Domain, which means... Ice sculptures? Nay, they're more servants. Hmm. All right, ABC. Hanging tributary. <laughs> huh. from before. I know. Be safe, my friend. Oh, boy. There she is. Yeah, it's all... Ah, uh, dude, the atmosphere underneath us is like condensing. It's like frozen. <laughs> I'm so stoked! Why am I so excited for the fury? Let's go! Because you're using cheats and you should stop. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're using cheat you're using cheat pose. <laughs> she looks <coughs> Good luck. Mm. Someone's not ready, we're just gonna go without them. Your strength of spirit. Tetra Pegos? Oh, I know that word, Pegos. <coughs> this is not happening yet. This is not active. Here we go. Oh, 
boy! Okay, so that's a pattern to recognize. So that was that was in in left right out. Out, stay. Right. In. And actually you can go straight in because of that combo. Tower soaks. Tower soaks. Ooh! Spears three spread. Vermin DC'd again, so. You must do better than that against me. Thousand fold thrust. Oh, yeah. Holy shit! P5S says, what's up? Oh. Okay, uh, sir, right side. Suzuku Flurry, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Locos? Locos? Lo Locos? Okay. Locos. Nice. So just a quadrant. Oh, we're good now, yeah, yeah. Well for that for that uh uh yeah. But I yes. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Everybody Oh, you gotta be out as far as you can. Oh, Yes, there is a wave moving towards the center of the room, which I just happened to walk over. That was luck. Literal, just pure luck. <clears throat> Victory must be seen this is going to be a transformation. She's switching weapons. Oh boy, time to get some different... What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, we're, we're attacking these. And out of the middle, I see. Oh, it puts up walls! Oh, shit! Nick, stop moving. <laughs> Dude, okay, this fight's pretty awesome. This is pretty sick. I'm... Yeah, we're, we're gonna die. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Rotating AoE! Oh, no! Oh, rotates hard! Oh, I fucking hit so hard! Kill that thing in the middle. Fuck that kid. Fuck, kill that fucking glacial spear in the middle. Now that you're the group that's out. Oh my god! He's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, everyone get together and use some defensives. <laughs> oh, here it comes, here it comes! Oh! Yo! Here it comes! <gasps> nice. That was pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, Linibus' special move when he fought us at Seed of Sacrifice. That was cool. Could continue forever. Ah! Okay. This quadrant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you hear what she said? If only we could fight forever! That's what she just said to you. Don't go yet, we're safe here, we're safe. Yeah, now we spread. This is awesome. Will of the Fury. Oh, this is that thing where the ice comes in. You gotta get out, but you gotta move through the wave of ice. Be careful. Oh, 
the I so the ice waves do not overlap, and by that I mean if you stand where the last one went off, you're completely safe. Okay, so out, and then left, right, in. Out, left, right, in. Out, left, right. And I was too slow because I greeted, and then in. Oh, and then left. Yeah, yeah, because she's doing that. Mm. Now we die. Spear. <clears throat> I'm gonna unmute Discord so that you guys are audible. Just so you know. French translations. Yep. We need some either LB3, by the way, soon. Yeah. yeah. Someone. Oh, random, please, soon. Sh sh Kalaza? What's that? Kalaza? Hail! Uh. Okay, that doesn't look good. Nice. Out. This... Right, uh, right. Left. And then in. Out, right, left, in. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Now go left. Now in. Same, same quadrant it's been every fucking time. If it's random, we're lucky, I guess. I guess. And then she's gonna thousand full thrust. So we're so safe in my I'm ley lines. In my ley lines. Yeah. Like, Damn. I'll just own legacy with the lasers. Nice. Get ready to move out. Wait for the. If you have to, wait for the second wave. No reason to rush it. I need a shield. Yeah, <laughs> a shield Don't wasn't gonna save all you. For that one. Be hugging the rail. Yeah, that's got an AOE coming from the center. Yeah, that's. Yep. So this is going to be Tetra Pegos thrust, so pay attention here. She's going to thrust right after. Right, left, out, then in. Right, left, stay out. In and right. And then out. And then out, yep. Doom Spears. Yeah, there wasn't an out there, but we need to go out for Doom Spears anyway. Rain of Spears. Yeah, I know you guys can hear the raid. I did that on purpose. Spread and then a one stack. All piercing spear, drink deep of raging blizzards. Let me right, or no, sorry, out, then right, then left, then in. For glory, Stay. Now left, now in. <laughs> Eventually, I'll condense that down to just left in. Uh, we need to be up top left. And we're safe here, just to the you right. Do better than that against me.
What is that lead motif right there? What is that from? Oh, it's from the other, it's from the first part of the raid. Never mind. If you have a personal defensive, now's a good time to use that. Or anything, really, because the boss dies. By the way, those are a great time to use Your next test awaits. Oh, yeah. Whew. I mean, Lily. That was, uh, that was a little that was harder. Tiring. <laughs> that was tiring. That was something, all right. Uh, why did you guys go ahead? Oof. Because they forgot again. Are there probably an autopilot here? Power one. Do not trigger. Oh my god, the that bridge. Seat. Stay outside. Please. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking sick. What Holy the shit. Oh, shit. oh shit, wait, 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 wait. I Holy haven't told you the fuck. translations for Haloni. I forgot those. I feel like those would be cool to to know. Well, Petra Pegasus is lovely for Isis. Yeah. You had Himon, which was winter. You had Lofos, which is an ambush, which is also happens to be a military term for a specific group of uh, army people for an ambush. Then you had Nifas, which is a snowflake. And then you had Halaza, which is ancient Greek for hail. That's it. That's all my translations, except you, one. Sorry. Except one. This room that we're about to, to enter, but I'm not going to tell you what it means yet. There's four armed people behind us. Yes, there are. Dude, that's pretty sweet. I have so many screenshots of this raid already. <laughs> yeah, same. It's a beautiful oh, raid, to be June. honest. They've outdone themselves. Look so at this! Far. Look at the statue behind us. On the ground. Everyone has four. Yeah, arms. the Halone statue. Wait. Yeah, damn. Yeah, all these, all these I things have four that. arms, right? They remind me of the. Um, <clears throat> I think you fight something like that in the Silden subterrain, but I can't remember. You know what actually reminds me? Hmm. What's the, um, Heavensward, yeah, uh, Trials? Night. What was the last one? Reminds me of Ravana, Even... someone said? Ooh. Ravana, and then I think the, the, uh, the last oh, person shit. from the, uh... Zerva? Ravana would kind of... Zervan, yes. Oh Ravana God, would be, like, a nice primal, um, like, parallel to Halone. Kind of like, uh, Ramu to, uh... Except Rejoice Ravana's fire, Lord. not thunder. Not Levin. Fire also, Zervan. Yeah, Zervan would also make sense since he's fire nice. Last boss, the Temple of the Fist dungeon. Mm -hmm. Delibrim as well, mm -hmm. first boss. Yeah, so there's a, there's a couple that are that have to use a similar model. Yeah, uh, Sildan is a thorn knight. Oh shit. Sh <clears throat> Like chess. I think she looks yeah. fucking awesome. Come bathe in the moon's tentacles. You will be giving her Tsunamiku eyebrows. <laughs> Ooh. Chamber of Revolutions. AKA Excellence. Excellence? Excellence. Arete is excellence in Greek. Like her excellence? Just excellence. Mm, okay. It's a general turn for excellence. Okay. It's a, the excellence of any kind or and when Usually, especially a person's or thing's full realization of potential or inherent function. 
the term may also refer to excellence in the moral virtue. There's mm. many meanings to it, I think. That makes sense, considering what they've been testing us on. It's why, uh, is it for, I don't know if it's the same way that you say like, because it's excellent. I don't know. I should probably look that up a little bit. I'll Are work on it later. Me? Let's fucking do I'll it. I'll work on it later, on the translation doc. The arena scares me, that's all I'm gonna say. Chess. Oh, this is the song from the trailer. Like Here we go. So many lines. Guys, there are red and yellow lights on the walls. I see that. I don't know what they mean. Christmas there's, decoration. There's also like a fucking... It's not a pentagram, but a pentagram on the floor. Whoa, it's Xmas Christmas decorations, decoration. lol. I, th I think they were a little bit late. <laughs> Alright. Let's give it a shot. See what... See what... Uh, Menfina's got for us. Love. Uh, this also, I don't believe, is this... No, it's not a Star of David either, I don't think. Nah. It's not even a, a Star. It's, it's not a, a Star. Yeah, it doesn't... No, it's, it's just certainly wouldn't have a... That'd be kind of a weird choice for an icon. Blue Moon. Lucky charms. It's an octogram. Love's light. The moon forms at Menfina's command. There's a moon at the front of the room in front of us. I don't know how that's gonna work, but... Ah, we were right. Good call. Okay. Lest you won't, tis not I cannot handle. Behind her. Oh yeah, because it expands outward. Yep. Is it too much for mortals? Get away from those. Blind. Yeah. Puppet bunker. Here we go. Chap. Yeah. I'm playing black mage. How do you think I feel? Prepare yourself. Oh my fucking hell. Summoner it is for this boss. Winter Halo, get in, get in. Try. I want the lyrics to this song. As soon as we can get them, I, I, I want to know what they are. So we have overlaps here. Um, they're times, they're timered, they're timered, they're timered. Go to the dark ones first. And then, and now go to the other ones. You figured that one out way faster than I did earlier. <laughs> Midnight Frost, get in front of her. Oh, fuck! That was close. It's Great not a one, it's not a one shot. <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, thankfully. It will be a one shot, but oh, here we go. taking on more bone stacks. Let's get some cool shit here. What's going on? Ceremonial pillar, I think we should kill these. Just a thought. Yeah. Oh shit, they cleave. Oh, the little, no, that's the little ice the things there. Yeah. I'd not stand on someone with an AOE, by the way. Wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Is... You mean the moonbeam? Oh my the god, the moonbeams are in the fight. The moonbeams! It does look like it's made by Rick 70. I was right next to one and it aimed at and it, and it keeps doing it? Okay. We might need Big Mitt for this. Oh, she draws her symbol on the ground and shit. Dope. Oh my god, there's a wolf! That's <laughs> its name. I don't know its name. Oh, Men oh, oh it's Menfina. Oh. Its name is not Menfina. Oh, it's Dalamud! Its name's Dalamud?! Oh right, that's the yes. thing from Legend. I forgot about that. So they, so they, dude, they're appro they appropriated our cultural legends into, dude. Th doesn't this, like, oh. it's like we shaped them. 
do. We do. We do. Yeah. We do. Like uh, that's what I. That's what I'm trying to say. Is like they don't feed on our ether. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Yeah. They like over here is not a good place. By the way, that's nothing. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, what does this mean, Todd? You know what I'm saying? Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's, no, it's, it's fine. Blue moon is something. AOE. Blue moon is something. Who would have thought? It's an AOE. Cool. That's interesting. I remember you guys telling me that its name was Dalamud before this came out, but to get confirmation that its name actually is Dalamud is kind of crazy. Yes. A midnight frost looks like a cleave behind it and on the side. Yeah, she does a cleave in a way and then the dog Oh, that's, yeah, the way that the dog's tail, yep, the way that the dog's tail is facing is its cleave, the way that Menfina's facing is her cleave. Come to the corner out here, not in the middle. Swift this down, I'm already the red mage. Uh, we're on ice. Oh, fucking hell. Winter Halo, uh, go to Menfina. If you have a gap closer that you can use, I suggest using that to get to an ally, but I think that's just Black Mage. That's another full uh, raid stack right there. A second one in this raid that we've seen. M loves light. Yet again, I think this was an AoE. Oh no, this is timers. So come into the dark ones first. And then when the w other ones go off, cruise on over. And by dark ones, I mean you gotta look at the moons and... Yeah, yeah, now you're seeing it. Now you're seeing it. Baited AoEs. In. Careful of the left boss cleave. Get on the... Or left side. Get on the left side. There you go. Full bright, the moon forms... Oh, right, here's the thing across the middle of the room. Hold on, though. We're going to probably have to dodge something else at the same time. The wolf. Yep, that's what I thought. See you guys. Get over here. You got to sprint. Okay, everyone stack. Mitts here, if we can, please. This, dude, these last two fights have been sick. I accept this, my darling. This is a line to those markers. Don't be between them. Yeah, or behind them. That's a good point. I, ha I have, yep, been there. Okay. Yep, dark ones first here. <laughs> Dark stole my LD. <laughs> <laughs> However, this means I can res Dark last. Dude, if we could get the Adalamud mount later, oh my god! And you can tell people you're riding around on your Dalamud and like, they won't please. understand what you're talking about. Let me out. Let me out of the misery, please. That would be so cool. Please, Alec. Thank you. You're welcome. Please. I just want to torment Alec. Whoa. Yeah, Why nice. does and her cleave? Does that mean that this is Dalamud? Get on the music? right side of Menfina here. Oh, wait. I the other right. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, finish her off. Dude. Nice. That was amazing. Oh. Divine rivalry. Divine do not rivalry. Leave. Please do not leave. Aww. Oh, you are a good boy. They want to go, dude. Oh my God, that's what this is. It's like they're testing. It's what. It, that's what it is. 
I swear, that's what it's gotta be, dude. They're testing us to make sure that they're okay to leave. That was amazing. The doggo was adorable, nice. though. I want to dab him in that one. Doggo was adorable. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. A good boy. Dalamut. <laughs> Dalamut. Oh. All right, picture time. Oh, wind up Halone. <gasps> I, I rolled a 99 on Halone. <laughs> no way. Yo, let's go. Time for Zark to roll a 100. Yeah, I didn't roll on this. Okay, I just need one of the uh, Menfina cards. It's actually very important. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Everybody listen to me. I need people to listen to me specifically for G poses. We're gonna do a G pose here. We're gonna do a G pose in Halone's arena. And we're going to do another one where Althik and Mia were. So, we're gonna start with the G pose here. And then we're gonna return to the beginning of the raid. Please. Uh, go, Faye. Go. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, Brandon. When an ancient's job is done, they return to the source. They're probably very old and very tired. And that's why. That's why I think like they're making comments like that. Like we've waited so long for this, you know. Especially Althik being the first god to apparently come into fruition, and as the god of time, like. This and, and then you have Menfina saying like so this so this also like is fate you know what I'm saying like the the the, the way that they're talking about us coming in here it it to me at this point it, it really does scream like we are we're like we're getting ready to like to go to be gone to be gone like and and it would make sense that the the champion of Heidelin the person that saved the star from the ultimate destruction that they were charged to help, you know, mankind kind of like recover from. I think that I, I just, I just at this point, man, the fact that they haven't like in game acknowledge these 12 people, like I just, I feel like it's gotta be, it's, it's, I don't know. I think it's gotta be. Ah, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. You're both safe. Thank goodness. You have the data then. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't suppose I could do the honors and replace the transcriber cartridge. I've always wanted to take a closer look. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you had a great time. Take care of moving it now. We don't want anything to happen to the data. They're gonna show up. Carefully does it. Come to me, O oh knowledge divine. Come to me. What is what that? Is that? <laughs> 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 uh, oh. Uh, it, it's all right. The, the cartridge is safe. Let's finish the task before there are any more surprises. Here they are. Yo, there it is. Let's go. You have our gratitude for bringing us closer to achieving our dream. Now, how come Althi kind of looks like Louis Swa too? Is he inspired by Louis Swa? Oh, oh Althi, oh, must you must always be so so, 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 so formal? formal. Although he has trouble expressing it, I assure you, my brother is absolutely giddy with joy. Why are you here, Nofika? 
Have you not sufficiently amused yourself with the mortals? Not nearly. I would talk to them some more. Fuck. This is so awesome. Norfolk had promised you the key to deciphering the monument, did she not? Yes, that's correct. Then you would do well to hold in your minds that which harbors information. Come now, brother. You need to speak plainer than that. To clarify, we shall create the objects you need. But your assistance is required to give them form. Worry not. Appearance has no effect on function. Just try and imagine that which, in your minds, is used to hold information. How about a memoriat crystal? Or a crystal of light or something? What the fuck is that? Tomes? Books? A map? Another tome? And is that a tome stone? Is that a f- No! 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 I- I have too many of those! I don't need another one of those! I'm echoing. There. These instruments shall be useful in your quest. They gave Oshan a map, though. Why'd they give him a map? And not a book? In Oshan's mind, information and knowledge... So, we... We... We made a tombstone. Everyone else made a book. And Oshan... Derek made a map. A map? Huh. Across Eorzea lie eternal stones that hold the information required to complete the words of the monument. Is he talking about the stones you go to in the fucking quest for when you get married? By holding an instrument out to a stone, it will take that information unto itself. We scatter these stones across the realm that mortals would not uncover our secrets. Of late, however, would seem you have found alternate uses for them as objects of worship. Naturally. Wait. Could they be the mocks of the Twelve? Isn't that kind of what he just said? They are, aren't they? Oh, to think that they harbored information on the gods! So the Twelve made those? And they have information stored inside of them. It seems we have our next destinations. Aside from the three city-states, I believe the marks are located in Curthis and Mordona. That's correct. We will split up. The quicker to finish the task. Azamas is in Mordona. I know that uh, Thaliax, or I think it's Thaliax, is that the Hoarfrost? Or the Frost Wraith? Which is the ice tree in Mordona? I wish I to wish come to too. Okay, I want to see what forms we start taking here. What's going on here? Let me see these forms. No, no Menfina. No, no. Twould not do to burden these children so. After all this time, we finally had the chance to speak with mortals. To learn about them from close up. And would not like to have another. Holy fucking fucking fuck. Fucking fucking fuck. Fucking fuck you! I must say, I share Menfina's view. Shut the fuck up, Alone! 
Even you, Pallone. I'd like to learn about you too, and I believe I speak for all of us. By all means, let us travel together. Music to my ears. We shall watch over you and see that you safely reach your destination. Without further ado then. Yeah, because I need you. Uh-oh, not so fast. Ooh. Azima's a meerkat! <laughs> yeah! Did you think you could go frolicking without us? The others have our domain well in hand, so we are coming too. And Naldal's a little zombie dude! Yo, look at Naldal's a little zombie boy! Oh my god! Well now, far be it from us to stop you. Let us assume our disguises too, and then each choose a mortal to accompany. Oh, hold on here. Please, let it be something inconspicuous. What are their forms? What are their forms? It's very important! Wait, there's the bunny, the bunny's Menfina, the ice wolf, the, the, the assassin fry! Oh! Hmm, hmm. I believe my destination is Thanalan. Then it's Lenosha for Raha, the Twelveswood for Kryle. Okay, so here we have, um, Nafika, Byergot, Ralgar, Azema, Naldthal, Menfina. Who actually, Menfina is probably the dog. That's probably Menfina. That's probably, dude, if Haloni's a bunny. And then these two would be, um, they're a pair right there, I would assume. So maybe this is, uh, maybe this is uh, Althik and uh, Nemea. We'll see. And last but not least, Mordona and Kurthus for Derek and Pyro. Of course, Derek and I are split up and going together. Of course. Will you be alright, Kryle? I shall be fine. You needn't worry. So this is Halone and Menfina. Halone is actually... Oh, Halone is... Okay. They had me fucking jabated for a second, dude. They had me so jabated, I thought the fucking bunny was gonna be Halone. I thought that was gonna be hilarious. Never have I traveled, never before have I traveled with mortals. Ah, such fun this will be. Others will remain to keep watch over our domain. You needn't worry on our account. Nice. Mm -hmm. Props for Derek for keep props to Derek for keeping it cool and pretending not to nerd out over getting to hang out with Azam. <laughs> so at this point, man, I'm starting to think maybe that Apo Apo is De is Oshan and Derek is just not Oshan, but he's just way too sus. Let's see, let's see. He's way too sus. This music, huh? We abided by the gods' selections, but why do you suppose the two of us were grouped together? No idea. Why, because you make the most intriguing pair. The gods felling hero and the world faring explorer. Because they can't tell us apart. 
I shall relish in the chance to learn about both of you. Now then, the others have already set forth, so let us do the same. Aside from my own mark, I believe we'll find those of Thaliac and Helone and Mordona and Curthus. Where the fuck is that thing been? Ook, ook. Oh my, what an adorable creature. Delighted to meet you, little one. It seems to want to join us too. What an unusual company this has become. The gods truly know no inhibition. Forgive me, Pyro. I couldn't have anticipated this turn of events. Okay, Derek. Baby Oppo Oppo. Ook ook. Menfina is winsome, is she not? We all think of her as our youngest sister. Hmm. Our, our youngest sister. <sighs> of all the self-indulgent things. Of all the self-indulgent things. In heavenly company, Menfina is fairly bouncing up and down in her eagerness to set forth. Well, what are we waiting for? Let us seek out the marks at once. Yes, yes. No need to be so hasty. Shall we then, Pyro? The nearest mark is Thaliax, just outside in Mordona. If memory serves, it overlooks the lake at a place called Wraithfrost. That's correct. This is the well of creation, in my opinion. The point of all magic of the world, where the twelve gods were probably created. And that's why their Omphalos sits high in the sky above Silver Tear Falls. Why Eidolon wanted Midgard Zemir to protect this place. And just so happens that the inn in Mordona is called the Seventh Heaven, which is what the Omphalos is, which is floating above us. See what we got. Menfina Halone, baby Apo Apo. Slip up, motherfucker, say a word. Ook. Do you like traveling, Pyro? I adore it, and not simply for its own sake. It's an important way to perform one of our foremost duties, you see. Peering into the hearts of mortals. You don't say. One of their duties is peering into the hearts of mortals, to understand the hearts of mortals. This is indeed the place. Let's see what we got here. Now then, we're to hold out an instrument to the stone. Would you care to do the honors here, Pyro? What about you, Derek, with your map that you got?
The instrument vibrates rapidly. All right. Tis done. The information held in the stone has been etched. <coughs> As Althik said, these stones are eternal. No matter their shape or location, their nature is unchanging. I'm gonna screenshot that. Together with the monument to the Omphalos, they've remained the same since time immemorial. "'Twas the love that men bear for us, and we for the star, that compelled us to create the monument and the stones." "'The love that men bear for us, and we for the star, that compelled us to create the monument and the stones." Dude. <laughs> These have to be the followers of Anah, dude. Listen how they talk! And though men do not know the truth of the stones, they offer them prayer. This act is a manifestation of your bond with us. While the stones are a manifestation of our bond with the star. And so by praying to the stones, you effectively cultivate a bond between yourselves and us and the star. Delightful, is it not? <clears throat> Though we appreciate your eagerness to talk, perhaps we should save some conversation for the destinations to come. Are you fucking kidding me, Derek? If we linger too long in any one place, we're liable to be late to reconvene with the others. Fair enough. Then let us make our way for the central highlands of Curthus. Within the Fury's gaze, my own mark awaits. Look, half their attacks are in Greek. That's hella sus. I know, dude, I know. <clears throat> There's nothing like taking to the road with agreeable company. Do you not agree? Okay, let's see what we got here, Derek. Blow my mind, Daddy D. Blow my mind. Come on, Daddy D. There it is. The Mark of the Fury. <clears throat> it wouldn't do to burden you constantly. I shall extract this inf the information this time. Looking back, Haloni, you've grown noticeably more imposing this past millennium. There are also more statues in the Heaven of Ice. <clears throat> Ooh, but an idea occurs to me. Pyro, this time I want you to share what you know about the warship of Havone. I dare say it will be interesting to hear what mankind thinks of her from your perspective. Huh. You often hear Halone's name invoked in battle. The Ishgardian Orthodox Church is the heart of faith and the fury. <clears throat> ah, yes. The prayers of the people are fervent indeed. And through the church they evolved. A change I felt with my very being. Look at this, dude. They're literally linked to the people. It's... <clears throat> <laughs> well, how very fascinating. Tis a fine thing indeed to hear directly from mortals. 
It is a roll quest flag for the third option. <clears throat> Still, as much as Helone loves her children, it troubled her to see them at war with the dragons, to see those who share this star spill each other's blood. <clears throat> as you should well know, Menfina, it isn't our place to judge the faith of mortals. What have I been saying, chat? Dude, chat. <clears throat> chat. Even when we lend them our aid, we must refrain from intervening in their affairs. Chat, am I gonna be fucking right? Am I gonna be fucking right about all this? I'm gonna freak out, dude. This is what I've been trying to tell you guys since the last raid came out, that they're non-intravenous. They do not intervene. They want to help us, but they never just stick their noses in the business because that's not the point. The point is for mankind to take care of themselves with a little bit of faith in something else. It's not about giving them the power to save them from disaster. It's about giving them faith in something to believe in so that they themselves can grow and become strong, which, in, which is also helping the gods. It, it's not... Uh, it's not a one, it's not like a one way kind of weird relationship like primals or anything. Interesting. And based on faith and stuff like that, lest there be any doubt, mankind's faith in us is mankind's alone. So there's nobody, it's just mankind. No one else is, is worshiping us. And it's, we're not being driven. It is our own faith in the gods. So again, they're again trying to say like, the faith in this relationship that happened is because mankind wanted that. We didn't come of, from nowhere and start tempering people. We didn't try to like, get, get more followers and weird shit like that, right? It's about mankind finding faith. It's their own faith and it was not placed upon them by someone else. By your prayers, our forms will become that which they need to be. Oh my fucking God, they're li- Chat! I'm right! They're li- Their forms? They, they literally turned into what we wanted them to be. With- We're no less their creators than whatever the fuck happened to them in the first place. Who made the 12? Us! In a sense. Apologies for the wait. Derek! And I didn't get to see how Derek did it. So Derek had a map, first of all, that we didn't get to see how he just did his stuff. The other two sat there and fucking talked to me about this information. Oh, I hate this. I love this and I hate this. Acquired the information, have you? Excellent. Let us proceed to the next mark. Mine. As I recall, it lies near the steel vigil, by the cliff west of the entrance. Follow me. <clears throat> It's just Menfina alone? Okay. Well now, aren't we quick? My mark lies just ahead. Let's wait for the others, and then continue together. Thanks, Ash. Yeah. Menfina the lover. Oh look, someone's praying. <laughs> How delightful to see one of my faithful children. O oh, benevolent goddess, grant me deliverance, I beseech you, save my soul. You, you, 
you're the one who was hunting down the lambs of Dalamud. Derek! Why have you been hunting down the, the lambs of Dalamud, Derek? He didn't tell me about this. Why didn't you inform me that you were involved in that? Jesus Christ, Derek. I can't take this guy anywhere. I knew it. I knew you wouldn't stop till you've dealt with every last one of us. And now you've come for me. <sighs> to think that this was her will. The Lambs of Dalamud. They're the cult that appeared prior to the Seventh Umbral Calamity, are they not? In the name of their faith, they abducted and sacrificed innocent souls and did not fear death. Ugh. Yeah, they are. I've committed no crimes! I swear it! Menfina as my witness! In the beginning, we simply prayed to the Twin Moons for Dalamud to one day shepherd our souls to the bosom of his mistress. But it all changed when Dalamud began turning red. More and more of us began believing that he was our savior. That we must prove our loyalty with our lives. Else we would suffer eternal damnation. Holy fuck. So that's how your group took on its fanatical ways, and came to be branded a dangerous cult. And at some point, I assume you were tasked with hunting them down. I used to be a merchant in Uldar, but timid as I am, I struggled to survive in that cutthroat world. That's why I turned to Menfina. I wanted to bask in her gentle acceptance and to gain courage from her strong and faithful hound. They were my solace. The only way I could be at peace with myself. But they took it from me. My fellows who committed those horrible deeds and those who reviled me as one of them. They took it away. You're strong, aren't you? Grant me deliverance. I beg you. Judge me and show me the way. <laughs> I just can't bear it anymore. What good is a god I can't see? Who won't grant me a thimble of succor no matter how much I pray? Ah, oh my god, we're literally about to go in. Well, oh my god. Are we really about to talk about... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm freaking out, chat. I'm freaking out. Silence. You mustn't seek in men what you seek in gods. Strong as he is, he is but a mortal. Like you, he is made of flesh and blood and possessed of his own will. Nothing more, nothing less. From Derek, huh? Wow. It avails you not to raise others up while belittling yourself. You are your own person, with a path of your own to walk. Even should you be taken by despair, that you are here now makes you no different from this man. Oh, listen to him go. So believe in me when I say, all will be well. Keep your faith in Menfina. Believe in her love and her grace, and you will surely learn to love others as well as yourself. 
And this is what Oshan would be just perfect as. What else does he need but to understand the hearts of man? Oh, if he's not one of them, I'm going to be very upset, chat. If he's not one of them, I'm going to be very upset. It's got to be him, dude. Please forgive me for my unseemly outburst. I'd been feeling lost, and all my anguish came spilling out. It was Menfina herself who brought you here. I'm certain of it. To encourage and guide me. Ugh, <laughs> oh, taking your words to heart. I'll try searching for a new path. Oh, this is a typo. This is missing either the word A or S, or the S on paths. Taking your words to heart, I'll try searching for new path. For a new path. Or for new paths. That's a typo. Should you feel lost again? Take to the road. See what is out there. Learn how others live and think. And you're bound to find your way. It's like his words are literally straight out of the mouth of a gnaw, dude. It's fucking crazy. Blessings upon you on the road ahead, dear child. Did you say something? That's the whole point, dude. That literally just exemplified the whole point of what I've been saying. That we don't we don't need them anymore. <clears throat> oh, it's not. Uh, they're gonna go away, dude. Oh my god, they're they're actually gonna they're actually gonna go away, and it won't matter if you've done the raid or not because <laughs> it, it won't it won't matter because they're you you don't see them anyway. Your faith in us can harm as well as heal. But never forget that faith belongs to mankind. And mankind, mankind alone. Ook? Qu question mark? Menfina? That child will be fine. I am certain of it. Okay, Tom, thanks for the resub. All right, Derek. <sighs> Unsolicited though it was, I don't regret saying those words to him. He needed to hear them. But come, Pyro. This time it's your turn to extract the information. The instrument vibrates rapidly. Forgive me, Pyro. I fear I've caused you trouble. No. I'm relieved to know that. 
you truly are strong in body and spirit both. Far be it for me to ask this of you, but please do not hold it against that child. We do not wish for our existence to bring grief to our children. Yet no matter which faith, we are who we are because of those who believe in us. My hound is no exception. He was born when men came to worship the object their ancestors cast into the, into the heavens. Oh shit! Oh my god! Holy fuck! We are not all powerful. We can't grant all of mankind's wishes. Oh my god. Nonetheless, we always, always hear you. No hope is too small. No prayer too faint. I just want to make that clear. Lest you forget, we love mankind dearly. Chad, I'm like positive it's them, dude. <laughs> it's fucking tearing me up. To think this whole time... In heavenly company. Ugh, fuck. Fuck! Ugh. Suffice it to say, we love you too, Pyro. <laughs> The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. Ook? Among us Twelve, Minfina is the most approachable to mortal kind. It is one of her positive traits. Hey, Derek. Divine non-intervention. Dude, I can't believe they're naming quests like this. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Is this a game where I can actually speculate and be and be right about things? Like, what is this? This doesn't happen. No, it's always wrong. There's always a, there's always a detail that gets left out. There's always a thing. No. Right? With this, we've completed our task and may return to the Omphalos. Yet, I can't help but think about Kryl. Grahatia seemed to be worried about her, did he not? It was as if something weighed on her mind. Though she's in the company of deities, I find myself worrying too. You could ask her directly. Whatever it is, there's only one way to find out. I'm just gonna be silent. So you didn't notice anything amiss? Perhaps I simply imagined it. But I worry nonetheless. If there are no objections, let us seek out Kryle. She is headed to the Twelveswood with Norfica and Biagot, yes? They are presently too far for us to sense. But we should be able to locate them once in the forest. I see. In that case, let us make for Gordania.
Speak with Derek and Gradania. There's a lot of follow-up quests to this. There's less building, um, like, you know, building up, and there's more, like, a lot. There, we're getting a lot of information dumped on us right now. This is fucking awesome. But I love it because I feel like this information, none of this feels new to me. It just literally feels like a bunch of confirmations on what I've been trying, what I've been saying to you guys on stream. This is blowing my fucking mind right now. I'm, like, so proud of myself. I'm, like, so proud of myself right now. Of, like, some of the shit that I've been saying. And the, 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 the 12 are literally fucking saying it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. If, if this was World of Warcraft, I would have been saying this stuff. And then it'd be four expansions till now. Till someone from Blizzard would just, like, would come up with some retcon that makes it not matter anymore. I can't believe, like, this, this... This patch to patch speculation that actually happens, that like actually gets answered. I don't have to go read a book. I don't have to go do all this other shit. Huh. They're writing a story that's, that makes sense and thematically like fits within its own realm to the, to the point where like you can actually fit, start to figure out what is going on. Chat, if these guys are are backing down from their charge and we're going to set them free from their charge, I'm going to fucking melt into the floor. Because that means, and if Oshan's Derek, then that means pretty much everything top to fucking bottom. Almost everything that I've fucking speculated about them has come true. That's fuck. that would be crazy. That, we'll, we'll, we'll find out, dude. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't believe, I can't believe the dialogue in these quests. I can't believe it. For all his preference for solitude, Derek certainly seems concerned for the welfare of others. How very intriguing. Menfina's on to him! Is Menfina on to Derek? What? And the baby Apoapo's looking right at, right at Menfina. Hmm. Lone? As I understand it, mortals hold that Nofika and I are at odds. Like other details about us, you are free to believe what you wish. <laughs> because our faith is ours alone. So, here we are in Gridania. Can you sense Nafika and Byrogat? I do, but something strange. Indeed, they appear to be in different places. Nafika is the nearest of the two, and is quite close by. I shall go and find her. Wait! You mustn't go off on your own! Ugh! Confound it all! After her, Pyro! I get a- I'm chasing Dog Halone through Gridania right now. I'm literally chasing one of the twelve gods through Gridania right now. <clears throat> With my Halone in tow. I am fucking- I'm a kid on Christmas right now. I can't fucking believe this. I can't fucking believe this. I dude, this is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. This is even better than I could have. Than I, dude. Both Nafika and Halone are very good to me. Tis our way to look out for one another. You have to. It's part of your way. It's literally part of your code. Oh, have you finished visiting your stones? We have. What are you doing, Nafika? There she is. Well now, I wasn't expecting to see you all here. Is all the matter? You're supposed to be with Kryle and Byrgot. Where are they? Oh, we became separated while I was distracted, listening to the elementals. Ha! <laughs> The beings are the voice of those who call the wood home. As I have the as I am as I'm the patron of this land, they could not help but report to me. Really? Oh, there's your sign up there. Again, another that I didn't I didn't know where that was. You gods can sense sense each other. Uh, you gods can sense each other. Even should you become separated, shouldn't it be a simple matter to find them again? 
Indeed, twould seem you were keeping something from us, Nalfica. Oh, Halone, there is simply no fooling you. Very well, I shall confess all. It's interesting to me that none of them, besides Menfina's curiosity, none of them have questioned Derek yet. None of them have been like, who are you? You know, there's been no really like acknowledgement of him from the gods. They don't really talk to him, ever, which I think is in, in the way that Derek is willing to just, like, challenge the gods, I think that's really interesting how he's just... You know what I mean? Fuck, man. Why do they make him so sus? The child, Kryle, wanted to visit our stones alone, you see. To complete her task without us watching over her. We merely respected that wish. With her abilities, I do not believe she is in any danger. But the warrior that he is, Biagot decided to follow her, follow her discreetly. If this is her wish, then indeed we must abide by it. As for Biagot, ah, yes, I sense him in the place men call the South Shroud. One of the stones is situated there, I believe near Camp Tranquil. Let us search that area for Byrgot. If we find him, we should find Kryle as well. These two scenes are like that Spider-Man meme. <laughs> I love that. That's such a good meme. <clears throat> Derek and I just pointing at each other. You! He's the fake one. Suspicious Spriggan. If this is not the Spriggan, I'm going to be very embarrassed. Oh. What brings you all here? We understand you've been following Kryle. Where is she? I'm not going to do a voice for him every time. I will, but not the... Not the... Having acquired information from my stone, she now makes for all thieks. I keep my distance to avoid being seen, and was about to continue on when you appeared. Althik's stone is her last destination, is it not? Let us all go and meet her there. If everyone so wishes, then very well. To hasten our passage, I shall call upon Master Ralga's servants to bear the mortals. What? You're gonna do what now? You're gonna do what? The servants of a god dang who? I'm getting... The Falcons? The, the Eagles? Oh, the god dang Eagles? <laughs> it seems we have the use of these hawks. Let's see if we can spot Kryle from above. Look at these hawks. I'll bring our companions so you needn't worry about them. Are you ready, Pyro? Mount the hawk and search for Kryle. Sure. I'm riding Ralgar's hawk. Dude, Ralgar's got a nice hawk, dude. These are some of the thickest, fucking nicest hawks I've ever seen. God damn. Go, my feathered friend. Fly like the wind. Fly like the wind, Derek just said. Go, my feathered, my feathered friend. Fly like the wind. I must thank you, Pyro. Talking to you helped me to find the resolve to seek out Kryle. No signs of her here. Let's continue on to Althik's stone. This is fucking Oshan, dude. This is Oshan. He literally says, ride like the wind. Okay. He just said to me, Thanks for, thanks for talking to me about it. It inspired me to keep going. Like the fucking 12. 
Derek. Derek. If you're not Oshan. If you're not Oshan, I'm afraid that I may be able to be convinced that the world is flat. Okay? Because I... I... <sighs> there she is already. She certainly wasted no time. Well, now, did you come all this way just to check on me? I've been on edge, worrying that I might stumble into Odin. So you gave me a bit of a fright. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Navika tells us that you wished to travel alone. What prompted you to send the gods away? Hmm. It's difficult to explain. I suppose... I suppose I wanted to seek the answers in my own way. They're going away. They're going away. The twelve are going away. As the gods told us, if we wish to know the truth, we must discover it for ourselves. In spite of this, they've seen fit to not only set us upon the right path, but accompany us besides. This bespeaks the faith that they have in man's spirit of inquiry, and it gives me heart. After all, it is the self-same spirit that defines the students of Baldessian. <sighs> yep. <laughs> like everyone, I want to uncover the truth of the Twelve, to know their aspirations, and understand them. And having seen a dear friend embark on countless adventures, I've developed the desire to see and experience the world for myself. There are dangers out there, of course. But I wanted to prove that I could handle them and perform my task. I see. Indeed, as much as we can learn from others, there's no substitute for seeing with one's own eyes. With your orange azem colored eyes, you motherfucker. And in yours, I see the gleam of yearning for, exp for exploration and discovery. It reveals to me the love you bear for our star. And it makes me glad. Dude. Dude. What else does he have to say? What, what's this all of a sudden? It's embarrassing when you say such things with a straight face. Right then. I've yet to acquire the information here. So I'll tend to it at once. Perhaps you'd like to wait for me at Quarry Mill. Click in and instantly hear my conspiracy about Oshon shared here. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for the 10 bucks, man. Hope you enjoy yourself. Ook, ook. And Fina says, Norfica and Bayagat are also kind. Are they not? You're all kind. In this land, those voices raised in praise for Norfica are especially strong. Let's wait for Kryle here. Nofika and Byargot are with her, so she will be fine. <sighs> the first man at Menfina's Mark, and now Kryle. Oh, first the man at Menfina's Mark, and now Kryle. 
In the course of traveling with you and yours, it seems I inevitably end up encroaching upon others' lives. Ook, ook, ook! Aye, yours as well. Though nothing binds you to me, you've followed me ever since I tended your wounds. You're free to go anywhere, you know. He's talking to the Apalapa. A person's life belongs to that person alone. Others can't be expected to assume responsibility for it, and thus it is wrong to interfere. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> Alas, once I've glimpsed someone's heart, I find I can't avert my gaze. It truly is difficult to be amidst people. <sighs> Alas. Once I've glimpsed someone's heart, I find I can't avert my gaze. It truly is difficult to be amongst, to be amidst people. Divine non-intervention. <laughs> and there's more, dude. Let's go. The Secret of the Twelve. Derek casts a languid gaze to and fro. It doesn't take too, it doesn't take too long to extract the information. Kryle should be here any moment now. Apologies for the wait. With that, I've obtained information from all of my stones. You've taken care of yours already, yes? Thank you for worrying about me. While it's good to know that I can handle myself, I'm heartened to be doing this with you all. I owe you thanks as well, Fiagot and Nofika, for accepting my request with good grace. Think not of it. You did well to see your task through, little one. Indeed. Come, come. Oh, I am. Let us all return to the Omphalos. So that's what they call it, too, the Omphalos. By the way, Derek uh, uh, is the one who apparently came up with the name the Omphalos for that thing. So the fact that the gods call it the Omphalos, too, is mega sus. You know, not that Ger Derek, Garrick, not that Derek needs any more reasons to be sus, but... He said that he came up with the name of his own derision, or of his own devising, which is interesting, considering all the other gods call it that. Oh, this is nice. You took your time, Pyro. Did something happen? Yeah, you could say that. Ah, so you rendezvoused with Kryle. How was your experience with the gods, if I may ask? Not only did you help a disillusioned man find his way, you looked in on Kryle besides. Thank you, Pyro. And you as well, Derek. I fear I overstepped my bounds. But what's done is done. They're not, remember what, remember what he said about how they're not supposed to, like, we're not, we're not supposed to be, they're not supposed to intervene, but with these last two people, both Kryle and especially the guy before him, what he said to them stirred their hearts and, like, changed their outlook, you know what I mean? Derek pretty heavily influenced those two, those two situations that just occurred, especially the first one. He literally stopped that guy and gave him an inspirational fucking speech about finding faith in yourself. And now he's talking about how he overstepped his bounds. But what's done is done. Doesn't that... Dude, I'm just saying, chat, this is some probably cognitive dissonance. 
But doesn't that sound like some shit that a Zem would say? Yeah, I probably wouldn't be on the bounds, but what's done is done. <laughs> I might have broke the rules, but hey, shit. I mean, it, even, even in some cases, it's just like, he just reminds me of, of I don't know, that, that, fuck man, he just reminds me of us. We shall return to our sanctums. You have our gratitude for the delightful time. So the Maya is the fish. I was right. By holding your instruments out to the monument, you will be able to augment the missing information. Be well, dear children. Oh, shit. Shall we then? Here we go. My tombstone of poetics. Your book. Vessels of human knowledge. Human. People were literally required to turn this thing on. Holy fuck. It literally can't be turned on without us. Amazing. What was impossible to decipher is now crystal clear. Without, fur without further ado, I shall read out the epigraph. All right, get ready to clip this. As beings who endure by the will of the star, who are susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers, thus do we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. Beings who endure by the will of the star. He who is named by a god shall preside over construction. His duty to fortify the works of men and encourage them to build. Oh my god. Oh my god. He who is named Rolga shall preside over destruction. His duty to galvanize the star's beating heart and facilitate mankind's regeneration. Oh my god. She who is named Azema shall preside over the sun. Her duty, to nurture its life-giving light and illuminate the truth for all to see. Which is why her symbol is an eye. He who is named Nald Thol shall preside over the subterrane. His duty, to make gleam the riches hidden in the darkest depths and in men themselves. She who is named Nothica shall preside over fertility. Her duty, to fill the land with life and prepare a path of peace and plenty. He who is named Althik shall preside over space and time. His duty, to endow the star with material vigor, that mankind's march may never cease. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she who is named Halone shall preside over the glaciers. Her duty, to hold the melting ice at bay, and imbue men with constancy and tranquility. Constancy. It's one of her fucking saints. Oh my god. They're naming they're Oh my god, they're using they're using words that that apply to their patron deities too. Oh my god. I'm fucking fucking oh. She is who named Menfina shall preside over the moon. Her duty to perpetuate the turning of night and day and foster love in the hearts of all. 
He who is named Thaliac shall preside over the rivers, his duty to quench the thirst of men and water their minds with wisdom. She who is named Nemea shall preside over the stars, her duty to preserve the celestial fabric of the seasons and weave the threads of men's lives. She who is named Limlane shall preside over the seas, her duty to administer the tides and inspire men to come together as one and seek new horizons. He who is named Oshon shall preside over the mountains, his duty to sustain the breath of the firmament and in wandering share in men's solitude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he who is unnamed shall watch unflinching. His duty to stand guard over his charge. Always and unto the end. Oh my fucking god. It's actually them. Oh my god. <laughs> And the Watcher is actually one of them! <laughs> oh my god, dude! That means he's actually the final boss. Oh my god, are we actually gonna fight the water at the end? Holy, holy fuck, I can't believe. How ironic it should be that the Twelve would help me find more faith in myself. I was not expecting to get that. And they've been watching over us this whole fucking time. Uh, just like I fucking said. I was right about them not being gone. I was right about, fuck! I was right about the duo fight and there being a 12th and that it was the Watcher. That the last boss would be the Watcher, dude. I can't fucking, really? 
We literally went to his palace and took screenshots and and work. I can't fucking believe it, dude. I even read the short story to be sure, you know. And still, oh Pyro, no, no, the twelve were gone. Her followers, they were all consumed. There, there's no way. There's no chance. I was fucking right. Oh my god, dude. And I counted them, and I stopped and counted. And what if I never counted? What if I never stopped and counted them? Ugh. And that's why Emmett knew. I fucking knew it, dude. That motherfucker, I knew it as soon as he fucking said it. How does he know that? Wait a second. The true identities of the 12, for instance. Oh my god! <sighs> oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> and everyone that completed it knew that this was coming. They knew I was gonna lose my mind. Ugh, just like you knew, you knew the raid. I didn't even know that Aglia was a thing. I didn't even know. <sighs> oh my god, dude. I'm in shock still. I'm, I'm in shock. I fucking... <sighs> oh my god. He who is unnamed shall watch, unflinching, his duty to stand guard over his charge, always and unto the end. Yes, we knew Byro.x was going to break down less than three. There the epigraph concludes. We've been given quite a lot to ponder. And that portal? may very well take us right to him, or him to us. Or maybe there's even another place yet we have, to vi we have yet to visit. But if he's the unnamed, then that goes to the moon, right? Dude, this means that my, oh my fucking God, chat, my theory, holy shit. My theory about Silver Tear Falls and what it is and where the gods came from, and why they are where they are, and that they're specific to Aorzea and that they're not another shards, like, holy fuck. Writings about the gods written by the gods themselves. This is utterly unprecedented. Well, <laughs> ah, yokes, lest we stray. Let's go back to the very start. As beings who endure by the will of the star, so maybe Heidelin? Because remember, they said that they are the will of the star when Heidelin is gone. But maybe they're talking more about us. Has beings who endure, endure by the will of the star, us, perhaps, we're susceptible. Mm, I don't know. I think it's maybe talking about Heidelin. We're susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers. Which would make sense. Thus do we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. They gave their souls to do this. They, they gave they gave their entire beings to, to, to become the 12. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay, what else do we have? 
Terror, thank you for the eight month resub, by the way. I hope people took clips there. Hopes and prayers influencing their nature. Are they creations of Dynamis? Are they, are they gonna end up being like Dynamis? Cause you said this is all ether. Have you thoughts on the contents of the epigraph, Pyro? The prayers of her faithful made Halone more imposing. The worship of Dalamud brought forth Menfina's hound. You mean to say that prayers have changed the Twelve into their present forms? That is rather hard to believe. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, not at all. No. No, it isn't. Given what we know of Dynamis, I believe it is entirely possible. In the presence of that energy, hopes and prayers have more tangible results than one might expect. Holy shit. Its power may be curved upon our star, but over thousands of years of worship, it could have influenced the gods in various ways. Ways such as that which Pyro just described, for one. Others that come to mind are Halone's shield and spear, which reflect her status as a goddess of war, and Nemea's spinning wheel, which is an apparatus for a goddess of fate, which is apt, which is an apt apparatus for a goddess of fate. They're very symbols. Thus do they create this monument, this yoke, that they might never lose sight of their duty, no matter how much they may change. Wow. They planned for Dynamis. I'm inclined to agree with Raha. The gods wrote that they endure by the will of the star. Who that refers to, we all know too well. Heidelin. <laughs> fucking go! Let's fucking go! By sundering reality, she must have known that she would shake the very foundation of existence. Anticipating the potential chaos, I suspect she... Ch charged to collaborate us with maintaining stability. Oh my god, it's literally word for fucking word. If this is true, then might not the 13th unnamed being the Watcher on the Moon? Being, thir sorry, then might not the 13th unnamed being be the Watcher on the Moon? <laughs> the pieces certainly fall into place. I wonder if he would be willing to share what he knows. As it stands, we've yet to encounter three gods. That's not true! Not true! We have yet to encounter two gods. As there's no telling what may happen once we've found them all, I believe we should try to uncover as much of the truth as we can. The better to know how to proceed. And I'm pretty sure that that their charges are um, inspired by the members of the convocation because the members of the convocation had similar like um, had similar like specialties. Like there's there's a convocation member that focused on like aquatic life forms, right? Uh, there's one that focused on flora and fauna. There's one that focused on um, on uh, um, on uh, like crafting and all that. Like there's a like. It's actually very reminiscent of that. So for them to be inspired by their foremost like counsel for how they led their people, it makes a lot of sense that these gods would not only be partially inspired by by that uh, by that fucking system, um, but also hold actual like maybe thematic resemblances to some of the convocation seats. So to that end, ere we seek out the Watcher, Raha and I shall return to Charleyan to compile our findings, the data from the analyzer, not least of all. 
Chat, this is the best day in Final Fantasy XIV I've ever fucking had, dude. <sighs> Fuck. I can't believe this. To think that the investigation might lead us to the moon. I eagerly look forward to the next stage of our field work. I wonder if we had to run away if they would have come with us. Do you think they have a hidden sanctuary on the moon? Are these, are the If the Watcher is inspired by Fusoya, who's a Lunarian, and, and Fusoya's one of, and the Watcher's one of the 12, then that means that there is a potential for inspiration of all of the 12 to have links to Lunarians, which could suggest that they have a secret moon base. It's called the Watcher's Palace. <laughs> Pyro, like as not, yet more grueling encounters with the gods await. Glad to be here. You for should this rest moment, up and, and gather your strength. Number to boot Guthin, thank you for the tier three for 14 months, dude. <sighs> Jezza was a thanks for the nine months. Wayward Sarah, thanks for the eight months. Let's see, any last words here from Derek? It's Allegans. Wayward Sarah, thank you for the eight. Are you gonna reveal it, Derek? Oh, not long now, ere we arrive at the truth. Love watching you play MSQ and get so excited about the lore as I do. Indeed we will, Oshan. Indeed we will. For the longest time I've journeyed alone, not involving myself in the affairs of others. But I've enjoyed our time together. You've undertaken the investigation with all earnestness, and it has been a pleasure to be a part of it. When I imagine the moment when we must part ways, I can't help but be saddened. And it surprises me that I feel that way. Forgive me. I didn't mean to sound wax sentimental. If you'll excuse me, I shall head outside for some fresh air. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that just about uh, just about confirms it. As he walks out, that's about as uh, powerful cinematic hinting at him. Uh, Twins, Derek. Him being all oh, Sean, oh. as you could possibly get. The amount of screen time that they had there with us looking at each other, the sentimental words, the fact that it's post-conversation after everyone's left, he's identifying that when we have to part ways, he's going to be sad. Derek is Oshan. Derek is guaranteed Oshan. There's just no doubt in my mind at this point. He has to be Oshan. There he goes again, Pyro. Do you suppose you could follow after him? I can't quite say why, but I feel as though he'll suddenly vanish one day. Never to return. <sighs> Foreshadow a little more. Derek's the watcher, the Oppo Oppo's Oshan, that's what I think. I think the I think that the Oppo Oppo is the red herring. Yeah, the Oppo Oppo, like how Derek, like, none of the gods spoke to it. It didn't ever speak. None of them, like, like, they even were like, oh, what a peculiar creature. And then Derek was even like, you know, it's following me because I took care of it, but it can it can leave whenever. But that's, I don't think, the Oppo Oppo, I think, has been the red herring from the start. Because for a long time, we thought maybe the Oppo Oppo was Derek. At this point, there's no doubt in my mind that the Oppo, that, the, that Derek is Oshan. Or that the Oppo Oppo was Oshan, pardon me, is what I meant to say. But Derek is Oshan, I'm positive. The, again, the fact that we're gonna go to the moon and talk to the Watcher, I think pretty much automatically like negates the idea that uh, that Derek would be the Watcher. And I think it also cheapens the ever living fuck out of his character because we already know and we've already met the Watcher and Oshan's whole entire trope is what Derek is doing. So I'm sorry, but I have to hard fucking disagree on that. I, I definitely do not agree. Oh, tis you, Pyro. What is it? I was I just wondering like when you're going to tell me that you're Oshan. Labeling you pre-spoilers when I recommend your streams. 
Spoiling stuff before it's even in the game, bro. <laughs> Tacitus, thank you for the tier three sub, man. For three, or tier three for 18 months on a streak. On a streak. Einhard, I appreciate you, man. Sticky pennies, thank you for the 14 month three sub. Moonbeans, it's time to go to the one place uncorrupted by bad storytelling. Space. Snow gems worried that I'll suddenly vanish, you say. Well, as the saying goes, all things must come to an end, whether we will it or no. When our work is finished, we must go our separate ways. Doing so will sadden me, as you know. Yet that sadness is part of the joy I have derived from our companionship. So I will accept it when the time comes, and strive with you to the last. Ook? Don't forget your other friend. As you know, my friend, I would rather you live your own life. But having helped you, I won't send you away against your will. Well, you are a busy man, so I won't keep you. As before, rest assured I will share with you any tidings I received from Kryle. Take care, my friend, and see you again in due course. The Secret of the You think the watcher will also be gone by the end of this? Yeah. There's the Greek symbol for Omega out front. Mm-hmm. It's on the front and back. You must be so vindicated coming from WoW to this and seeing your theories pay off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you could say that. You could say that. Over the course of this raid, it's become very special to me. Because when I look at Oshan, I just see us. And I think that's what I love about him so much. They used literally creation magic before the confirmation to create the items of knowledge. No one said anything? Well, I mean... Every time someone has ever, like, made something in front of you, you always assumed instantly that it was creation magic. I mean, if you wanted to make the argument about creation magic, how about, like, there are realms? <laughs> and, like, how they, like, literally warp their entire fucking realm right in front of us. The Watcher is just a shade, isn't it? No. The Watcher is not just a shade. The Watcher was reborn through Hydaelyn, and I would highly recommend that you watch my YouTube video where I narrate the entire short story. It's on my YouTube, and I recommend you listen to it because that will give you the details 
The watcher there is not the real one. No, that's incorrect. Chat, slow down. This is the watcher. Yes, it is. The watcher is real. This is not a fake shade or a memory. This is a real this is a real thing. Is the watcher's form one he chose? No, it was one Heidelin chose for him. There's an entire short story about the watcher on the website. So I would um, I would highly, highly recommend you go and read that, or like I said, listen to my uh, listen to my video on the on my YouTube channel. Due to spoilers, that way but I hope you, you can get the answer. Correct, Cortical. The Watcher is the only one across all the shards. Pryal just said all that stuff about the Watcher, and y'all don't think this is the real one? Seriously, yeah. Sometimes, you, sometimes, you, you, sometimes you look too deep. People tell me that, but let me tell you, sometimes, sometimes, people find like. This along with Pandemonium, we're in for a ride these these next patches. I'm telling you, Pandemonium is gonna give us the the key to how Vana to like how this magic was unlocked. It's probably gonna be like very close to what was needed to be done, but I think Vana unlocked that last bit of knowledge because again, in the short story. Um Ah. Uh, at the very end, the Watcher gives to Vana this crystal which holds the final piece of universal revelation knowledge that she needs to carry out her plan. Do we know that Watcher's on all shards? Yes, we do. The reason why is because Zodiac was on the moon on all shards and the Watcher was watching over him on every moon. Go... Please, if you haven't read the short story, you have to read it. You are missing huge context. You've got to read it. You've got to read it. It's so important. It's so, you have to read it. We literally saw Golbez f striking down the Watcher in the final cinematic of Last Patch. He was striking down the Watcher on the moon on the 13th. So yes, the Watcher does exist, right? And yes, to an extent, it's a simulacrum, but this isn't some ether-bound fake. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Vana didn't just come up with some bullshit and call it the Watcher. Vana literally absorbed his soul and through Heidelin rebirthed him. The word reborn is literally used. And then he talks about how she... Must have, uh, she must have, uh, selected his memories pretty specifically in order, you know, because she didn't, obviously didn't, he even says she didn't want him to know about the true extent of their full plan. It's not like how Emmett did it. It's not like that. It's not an illusion. For, like, Hithodeus, right? This is like a reconstruction of someone that is very real. I mean, he's just as real as the Twelve. Like, I mean, are they... I mean, he, it's the same thing. It's the same, I mean, it's the same thing, right? I mean, they just, I mean, they even just, con they just said that, confirmed it. So, anyway, we're going to go to emo mode now. I just want to explain that. The, the thing um, about them finishing their charge and being released, the foreshadowing on that is so in, in our faces right now. Like, it can't, it almost can't get any stronger. Like, <laughs> They're basically drawing the lines to the end of the story where their their vigil is concluded and we no longer need the Twelve around and they're going to go away. They're going to probably return to the Star as they would have wanted when they finished their duty. We'll meet again at Journey's End. I think the difference between Hithlo and the Watcher is that Emmett didn't have Hithlo's soul. Vana had the Watcher's soul. I 
I still reckon that the 12 came from concepts as seen yoked in the Omphalos, not directly people ascended, and Hydaelyn created them after they died and gave their power to summon to summon her. Mm, I don't know about that. I, I think they're going to make it more personal. I think they're going to make it more personal than that. I do think it's going to be real people, and I think at the end of this, we're going to get to see them for the record. You guys think that we're going to resolve this and not get to see what these people really look like? Fat fucking chance. We're probably going to get to see them. Especially if they're ancients. Or former ancients. We're Azem. Don't forget that. We're Azem. And we were Azem when the world was sundered. They all know who we are. All of them. They all know us. Every single one of them. It's fucking crazy. 